This is my uh, fully renovated 1925. When it was first built, they called it a hunting lodge or hunting camp, but I call it a cottage. It's about 750 square feet, not including the basement that is only accessed from a door outside. Uh, I bought this house as is, and uh, there were a ton of ises. I had to redo the electric and the plumbing and a few other things. Uh, again, this house was built 1925. Uh, the room we're in now, it's a mud room now, but when the house was new, it was a uh, screened in porch. There's a window th that uh, is my bed on the other side is my bedroom. Uh, the furniture, most of it came from Pier 1. And uh, it wasn't like I went to Pier 1 and uh, it was one fell swoop. It took uh, many trips. I bought a few pieces at a time. A uh, good many things were uh, floor models that were clearance, uh, had damage and greatly reduced. Other things I paid full price. If I waited a few months, it went on sale. But uh, you win some, you lose some. And... Uh, Look at the beautiful floor. And uh, this original 1925 door. And uh, the antiques are mine. Let's go into the main room. As you can see, uh, all vaulted ceilings. In uh, the main room, the uh, mud room and the kitchen have vo vaulted ceilings. The lamps, Tiffany style lamps were all reproduction, all came from Amazon with uh, one exception. I had to put in new windows. These, uh, when I moved in, this house was seasonal and uh, I cr uh, converted it to uh, year round use. This uh, Renai direct vent wall furnace pretty much heats the whole house effortlessly. And I have uh, electric floorboards, but I very rarely use them. My kitchen is a kind of a cave, but uh, I put another window in and uh, LED lighting. Again, this... Uh, Came from all well, this came from Pier One. The uh, washer and dryer in the kitchen isn't ideal, but I had small house and better a washer and dryer in the kitchen than no washer and dryer at all. I like that most people want you know kitchens that are open to living spaces. I like uh, clearly delineated spaces. I uh, if I live alone. But if I have a company, one person, we eat at the kitchen table, two or more, I set up, I have a folding dining table in the mudroom. And if you saw it, I'll go show you now. And I set it up over here and I could, you know, have six people uh, pretty effortlessly, comfort comfortably. Uh, more than six, it's not, you know, it's got to be buffet. It's that table there. This... Uh, folds open this table, very uh, utilitarian. The uh, Van Gogh reproductions came from Amazon. I have a, an attic there that I don't use. It's the basement and everything I store, I store in the basement. It's a pain to get up there. So it's empty. Let's go back to the kitchen.
I read an article saying that uh, stay away for resale value from busy backsplashes, as you could see. I uh, did not, I mean, well, I did it before I read the article, but it said stay with st tried and true uh, subway tiles, and I personally can't stand them. Uh, I don't like, I used to live in Manhattan, and uh, subways, you know, riding the subway is a necessary evil, but it's certainly uh, nothing I want to be reminded about. As you could see, the I went with a little bit smaller refrigerator. There's like so little storage. It's a long story. I moved from a 3,000 square foot house to this. I downsized, and there's so little storage that every, I mean, I I need the I need for like trays and stuff. I use all the time. I'd have nowhere to store them if I didn't store them here. And more importantly, a step ladder. As you could see, I love. Uh, countertop appliances, but I've had a look at them. Uh, I wouldn't own them. So they're all up here. Uh, an orbital mixer, uh, uh, air fry cooker, food processor, ice cream maker, waffle iron. I think that's it. And I use them pretty much a few times a month, if not more. But this is... Uh, my teeny bathroom and as you could see I continued the tile in here as a backsplash and I did it when there uh, those uh, which house will they buy shows on home and garden usually the uh, uh, the wife or the woman makes a comment she doesn't like the tiles in the the kitchen the backsplash and they inevitably did what I did, and uh, see, I have no bath. And then she makes a comment, oh, I see they continue the tiles in here. And uh, at any rate, that's what I did. I have uh, no bathtub, but I don't take baths anyway. And uh, I don't know, notice the, is the uh, bathroom is not ADA compliant, especially the... Uh, small door this is the world's smallest guest room uh, people who stay here tell me well if, if two people told me that uh, they visited me reminded them of, uh, of uh, someplace they stayed in Europe a small room but there's no even when I have guests this is so, so small I, they have to keep their luggage uh, it, you know work out of the mud room or uh the uh, living room on one of the, the couches. There's no room for luggage here. I keep my coats in this closet and there's only two closets in the house. I have a lot of stuff I store in the basement and uh, this closet goes all the way out to here, all the way to the edge, so uh, I, I get a lot of stuff in there, but uh, when I moved here, I didn't know how I was going to do it, but you do it. This is uh, my office and bedroom. There's that window that looks out. My dog loves this room. As you see, it's snowing out. That's my dog. You know, I'd love... Why do I have uh, all this Van Gogh? Uh, I don't know about him as a person, but uh, the artwork I find very cathartic and soothing and uh, relaxing. Right, this is... Uh, that's my house, pretty much. Other than the basement, which is a, a vapor locked or whatever they called it, insulated, but not, a, you can't live down there. This uh, P. 
piece I had to raise off the floor. They installed the uh, furnace, and I they, they claimed they couldn't get it closer to the fireplace, and I couldn't use this, so I mounted it on the wall. I could access the bottom, you know, easy enough, but uh, more importantly, the drawer I could use again. Okay, thanks for watching.